What minimum heat is needed to bring 200 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius to the boiling point and completely boil it away? The specific heat of water is 4190 joules per kilogram K and its heat of vaporization is 22.6 times 10 to the fifth. That didn't go up as an exponent. That's not 105, it's times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram. So we're going to be looking at the phase change chart. Is that the right term? Anyway, we're going to be using this guy. So here we have liquid water. Down here we have ice and up here is vapor. So they tell us that we start out at uh, 200 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. So we'll just say right here is 20 degrees Celsius. We want to bring it all the way up to here to 100 degrees Celsius. And then we want to take it all the way over here so all of the 200 grams is uh, vaporized and turned into steam. So whenever you have a flat part on this diagram, e, uh, I'll just draw a flat line. So a flat line is equal to plus or minus, depending on which direction you're going, the mass times the latent heat of vaporization for going between liquid and water. Or if we're talking about ice and liquid, it's plus or minus, depending on the direction, the mass times the latent heat of fusion. Whenever you have a slanty part, that is going to be MCAT. So we have to combine two of these things here. We're, we want to know how much energy we have to add to it. So it's going to be Q is equal to, and we want to know the energy to go from 20 degrees up to 100 degrees. So we'll have an MCAT with a change in temperature of 80. And then we want to add even more energy into it. So we're going to add the mass times the latent heat of vaporization. And that should tell us how much energy we have to add into the system to get all of that to turn into uh, water vapor. So now we can just plug everything in. So Q a little more room. Q is equal to the mass of the water we say is 200 grams which is 0.2 kilograms times the specific heat they tell us and the question is 4190 and then we want to times that by the change in temperature so we are going to do final minus initial so we're going to end up at 100 minus the initial of 20 so we will have 80 degrees Celsius or 80 Kelvin. All right, now we're going to add the mass again, so 0 0.2 kilograms. And we're going to times that by the latent heat of vaporization, which they say is 22.6 times 10 to the 5 joules per kilogram. So now just double checking the units, if we look at the um, mass times the latent heat of vaporization, the kilograms cancel out leaving joules and over on the other side we, the kilograms cancel out with the kilograms on the bottom and the Kelvin also cancel out on the bottom so what we end up with is some amount of energy in joules and then we're adding another amount of energy in joules leaving us with the amount of the total amount of heat to go up to the boiling point and over to all of it as steam so plugging all that in, that gives us 519,040 joules or 5.2 times 10 to the 5 joules.